Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about reconstituting your medication or Titan therapies. But what is reconstituting your medication and what does it mean? So let's talk about it. So when you get your medication, you're going to get your bacterial static water and dilutant and you're going to get your medication that's freeze dried and lyophilized in a vial. You're actually going to take out the dilutant or bacterial static water and you're going to inject it in the vial that has the freeze dried or lyophilized powder. It's real simple and real easy to do. I'm going to set an example up for you guys and do it. Check it out and stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm John from Titan and today I want to discuss about reconstituting your medication or your Titan therapies. And you're going to reconstitute therapies that are lyophilized or freeze dried. So when they come, they're going to be this little white powder that's in here and you're going to see it at the bottom here and you're going to have to reconstitute this medication. So let's go through the steps and what you guys can do to reconstitute your medication. The first thing that's going to come when you get your therapies is you're going to get a mixing kit and you're going to get your medication in your pharmacy vial. Okay. You're going to pull out that medication and put it down and you're going to pull out all the things that you need to reconstitute that medication. Okay. And the things that you're going to need to reconstitute that medication are going to be your needle and syringe. You're going to have your bacterial static water or your dilutant to reconstitute the medication with. You're also going to get two alcohol swabs. Okay. So let's go through what the steps are to reconstitute your medication. The first thing is you're going to want to look at your vial on the outside of it. There should be a signature portion, which tells you how much dilutant or bacterial static water to reconstitute your medication with. This is going to tell you, and it should say reconstitute the vial with, and then it's going to have the instructions on how much dilutant to reconstitute your medication with. If you have any questions after reading the label, you should always contact the medical provider or office so they can give you the proper instructions to reconstitute medication because you don't want to over dilute it or under dilute it because that can mess with the concentration levels and dosage that you would be receiving. So the first thing that you're going to do is, is you're going to pop the top to your medication and some tops look different. So I want to show you the difference. Very simple, very easy to do. So you're just going to take your thumb and you're going to hear that pop. Now, if they do have this white portion on here, this is not going to come off only the center portion. What's going to happen is you're going to see a gray stopper on the inside of this vial. We're also going to pop the top or take off the top of the bacterial static water or dilutant. Next thing you'll do is you'll get your alcohol swab and you actually tear it open and you're going to clean the tops of the medication vials. And I just switched sides on this. So it's clean, one time use on each side. Okay. You also have a second one just in case you want to use on each vial. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your mixing syringe. Now, depending on what medication or therapy that you're prescribed is going to depend on how much dilutant you're going to reconstitute your medication with. So like I said, always refer back to the signature on the bottle or call the medical provider or the office to get further instruction on how much it should be. They'll go through it with you. We will properly so you're getting the right dosage at the right time for your medication. So the next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to open up the syringe and needle. It should be real easy, cleaned off. Okay. This is sterile. So when you do pull off this top, do not wipe it with alcohol. Don't set it down. Don't do anything like that. We've let the alcohol dry on the vials on the tops. What we're going to do is, is we are going to pull off the top of the needle. We're going to draw down and on 8 CG, we're going to go to 6.5 mLs. So when we pull down 6.5 is between the six and the seven mark right between it. We're pulling down Aaron here. 
We're going to grab the dilutant or bacteriostatic water and turn it upside down, going in the center of the bottle, pushing the air in. And the reason we're doing this is we're actually pressurizing the vial. So you could actually release the stopper at the bottom and it's going to fill up. So we're going to fill this up with six and a half milliliters, right in between the six and seven mark. It's very simple and very easy, okay? So once we have that, we're going to take it out, swing the bottle around. We're going to go, this is eight CG. We're going to go in at an angle with the needle towards the side of the vial. And because the needle is already pressurized, it goes right in. If you have to, you can push the stopper in to fill the dilutant to reconstitute the medication. And once we have that dilutant in there, we're going to swirl the vial for 60 to 90 seconds. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is, is after you swirled it around, and you're gonna to wanna to swirl in a clockwise motion, not erratic, not shaking, you're going to swirl it in a clockwise motion, okay? And like I said, 60 seconds to 90 seconds usually, making sure that it's mixed up correctly. Now we can look and we can see that there's no white flakes or chunks in there. If there is, you're going to need to swirl it around even more, okay? Usually it'll happen within 60 to 90 seconds. You shouldn't have any problems. If you do, please contact the office They'll go through further instructions with you. At that point, when you have your medication mixed and reconstituted, then you can give yourself your injection or your therapy. It's that easy. After you're done giving yourself your injection, any medication that's reconstituted needs to be refrigerated afterwards. So after you do give yourself the injection or you don't, make sure that you put it in the fridge afterwards. When it's in powdered form or lyophilized, this does not need to be refrigerated, but after it gets reconstituted, it needs to be refrigerated. Now reconstitution happens with all different types of medications from HCG to BPC-157, TB-500, CJC-1295. All these different ones will all come lyophilized in most cases, which you will need to reconstitute the medication. So if you see a vial that does come like this, with a freeze dried powder, lyophilized medication, you'll need to reconstitute that medication. And like I said, the signature should always be on your prescription, telling you exactly how much to reconstitute your medication with. If you have any questions, please call or text the office and our staff will take care of you. And that's really it. It's really simple to do, really easy. After you do it one or two times, it will be like riding a bike, no problems, no issues. After you're done with everything, you can dispose of everything else. If you have extra bacterial static water, it's only good for so long. But if you have other medications that are lifelized that come, you can use the same bacterial static vial. Um, just make sure you're wiping down the top with a gray stopper um, after every puncture. Okay. So I hope you guys have learned something today. I hope I've gave you some good knowledge here on how to reconstitute medication. Please, if you have any questions or concerns, call or text us at 727-389-3220, tightmedicalcenter.com. We're here for you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon.